Hi, my name is Adam Carver and I lead Christian Life Church in Denver's asked me for some leadership thoughts over this summer. And um, one of the things that I'm really aware of is when you run a church or a charity or a business, when you're a leader in anything, it's really easy to see people's gifting and want to release them into that, to see the person that plays the guitar really well, or the person that leads a small group really well, or the person that leads a project, or the person that's creative, and want to just release them into everything, because you see this amazing gift. But what I've learned is that gift is nothing without character. And what I've learned is that when you release people based on the gift, it brings a few problems down the road, because down the road you have to deal with their character. And in everything that I do, not only do I lead a church, my wife and I also own Little Diz, which is a soft player party center. We've been doing that for nearly 10 years now. So I've also run a business for 10 years and I've run a church. And I've been doing that for 15 years, the same one. And I've learned a few things about what it means to look at people's character and what it means to develop character. And for me, there are four key things that are really, really important. Faithfulness, accountability, commitment, and trust. And these things are really important because God is faithfulness. He is accountability. He is commitment and he is trust. So when we start to build these things in our lives, we start to be like Jesus. And to guess what? Some wonderful things start to happen. And so, uh, and faithfulness, accountability, commitment and trust, F-A-C-T-U, is a fact that when people learn to grow in faithfulness, when they learn to grow in accountability, when they learn to grow in commitment, and when they learn to grow in trust, you get wonderful people who can then thrive off their gifting. Now, I wrote a whole book about it. That's how much it means to me. But I want to give you just a two minute introduction into this thing called fact and why it can help you in building your ministry, church, business, charity, family, whatever it may be. So first of all, the F, faithfulness, particularly in finance. Jesus said finance is the least of all things. If you're going to release anybody in anything, the first thing you should be looking at is what do they do with the money and how do they use it? Because Jesus said, that money was the least of all things. And if you're not going to use what's the least of all things, well, then you're not going to be entrusted with the really important things. So first of all, are we faithful with what God's given us? And materially, we've all got something. Are we using what we've got well? That's the first kind of character check, because it's possible to measure character. That's what facts does. It measures character and actually gives you a way of seeing how people are improving their character on measurable things. What they like with the finance, what they like with the tithing, what they like with generosity, what they like with all sorts of things. So faithfulness, accountability. Accountability releases authority. Are people willing to let you into their lives? Nobody does anything in my church unless somebody is going to be allowed into their life, to speak into their life, to listen, to see, to learn. People call it mentorship. I don't because it's not in the Bible. I call it discipleship because discipleship involves discipline. And Jesus disciplined people. Perhaps he did it with love and it's got to be done the right way. But I'm into discipleship. I'm not into mentorship because I think discipleship is what Jesus did. <clears throat> and it's why 12 men went and changed the world. But accountability is about being sub learning to be submitted and learning to be humble and learning to allow somebody else to speak into your life. These are all in hugely important character traits. And the C is commitment. Now, lots of people, when it comes to churches especially, think that commitment is about the person that's there all the time. The person that's at the prayer meeting, there on a Sunday morning and a Sunday night, and they're there doing the youth group. But Jesus wasn't committed to going to meetings. Jesus was committed to being in relationship. And so the key is about you being in relationship. When I'm looking at people I want to release, I'm not too bothered as to whether they're there first thing and go home last thing. I'm more bothered, are they committed to the people around them? Are they committed to making sure I'm going to maintain relationship? Are they committed to forgiveness? Are they committed to restoration as much as is possible? Are they committed to being together? Because Jesus is bothered about being together more than he is turning up at premium. And hey, you can turn up at all the meetings and have completely wrong motives for being there. It's about relationship, about being together. And the T, trust, trust deals with tensions. And trust is about learning to walk in trusting relationships. If I can't trust you, there's a problem. And if you can't trust me, there's a problem. And we've got to learn to trust God. And we've got to understand that he trusts us and we've got to trust one another. And that trust grows through being in relationship together. Can I trust you? And can I trust you on the simple things? Can I trust you to be there when you say you're going to be there? Can I trust you 
to leave when you say you're going to leave? Or are you just going to still be at my house at 11 o'clock at night when I want to be in bed? Can I trust you to honour my time? Can I trust you to honour my possessions? Can I trust you to honour my input? Trust is really, really key. So my five minutes of wisdom, faithfulness, accountability, commitment, trust, I build everything I do on it and it's born beautiful fruit. I want to encourage you. There is a way to measure character. It's called fact. And it's been foundational and instrumental and pivotal in everything I've managed to do. Lovely to talk to you. Thanks for listening.